Have you ever wondered what mind skill millionaires have that set them apart from other people? If you have and you're willing to learn and apply the same mind skills, you too will develop a millionaire mindset. Hi, I'm Jennifer Goddard and welcome to the 21 Day Millionaire Mind Skills Challenge. Today I want to share with you the topic of mind skills. In order to have the right mindset, you actually need the underpinning of the mind skills themselves. And you need to develop the mind skills and your thinking tools. Dropping out of school at 15 and becoming a teenage mum, I really wanted the best for my daughter and I studied everything about how to develop the right mindset. What I soon discovered, if I didn't have some underlying skills, then the right mindset isn't going to help me at all. So millionaires develop both the mind skills and the mindset in order to be successful. If you've read my chapter on Business Millionaire, you know that for the last 30 years I've worked and developed on my mind skills. And in the last 15 years, I've actually quit my day job and helped other people think, learn and succeed. So in this video, I'm going to answer some questions that you might have about how to develop some millionaire mind skills. And from our perspective, there are three key things that you need to develop. For what are the core mind skills used by millionaires? Along with having the right mindset, the key mind skills used by really successful people fall into three distinct but related categories. First, they know how to manage information overload so they can get more done. Everyone has the same amount of time each day. Most millionaires get a lot more out of the day than others. Second, they understand the reality of intelligence. They know there are multiple ways of being smart and they know how to tap into their own unique genius and that of others. And thirdly, people who lead in their field have developed the skills of what we call critical and creative thinking, something my partner Bill Girard and I have been concentrating on at Mindworks for the past 15 years. Explain managing information overload for us. One of the main sources of wealth and power is information. Though in today's world, we all suffer from information overload. In reality, you can't eliminate it or conquer it. You just have to manage it. Managing information overloads means having the skills to effectively get a wide range of information into your head, organize it, and then be able to remember it when you need it. While there are a number of aspects involved, we know that successful millionaires do three key things every day. First, they read widely and strategically. Most of us read at grade four level because that's when we stop learning how to read. For example, we all find reading on a screen much different than reading from a piece of paper. Technology has significantly changed how we read, so you need to upgrade your reading skills to what we call range and rapid reading. Getting new information into your head effectively is more than so-called speed reading. You need to read with a purpose using a number of simple reading strategies to get what you need from books, articles, newspapers, etc. Secondly, they organise the information coming in so they can use it more effectively. If you want just one tool, just one technique, the Swiss Army knife for your brain, then learn to mind map. Mind map is like a road map of your thoughts and can be both hand drawn and computer generated with new fantastic software that's out now. When you read my chapter in Business Millionaire, you can see that amazing difference that's made to my life and millions of others around the world. I'm so passionate about helping people develop their ability to take notes and make notes in a brain friendly way. And the third skill they develop is the skill of memory. They understand the principles of memory and how to use them to design their own success. They also, memory is disguised as other key business elements such as marketing and branding are essentially memory. Memory is also the flip side or the flip side of the coin for creativity, a vital skill. Now I do know a little bit about memory. I am the chief judge of the World Memory Championships, but I have to fess up my memory is improving, which is why I organize the memory championships, not participate in them. Now tell us about multiple intelligence. What's involved there? For me personally, this is one of the biggest revelations when it comes to having millionaire mind skills. I used to think intelligence was just about my IQ and that I ended up in the wrong queue. Then over time, we discovered that other intelligences, such as emotional intelligence. Professor Howard Gardner identified multiple intelligences and said that it's not about how smart we are, but how we are smart, that each of us are smart in different ways. The real breakthrough came when our full 10 intelligences were identified by Professor Tony Buzan. People with a millionaire mind skills are well-rounded, have a set of interrelated skills and understand that they, everyone is able to tap into their natural genius. So, with the 10 intelligences, most of us just use two intelligences, like verbal intelligence or numerical intelligence, or physical intelligence and social intelligence. But it's like playing the piano with just two fingers. All we can basically play is chopsticks. 
Imagine if you learned to use all 10 intelligences. Ma imagine the melodies of life that you can play. And what are our 10 intelligences? Well, there are the three traditional IQ intelligences, the numerical, verbal, and spatial intelligence. Then we have our bodily intelligences, our physical intelligence, our sensual intelligence, and even our sexual intelligence. Yes, it is an intelligence. Then there's the creative and emotional intelligences. So the specific creative intelligence, social intelligence, personal intelligence, and spiritual intelligence. Using all 10 intelligences encompass a wide range of mind skills that millionaires do use to tap into their natural genius. Why is critical and creative thinking so important? Once I realized that thinking is a skill that we can all learn and that everyone can be creative, I wanted to shout it from the rooftops. So I quit my day job and for the last 15 years at Mindworks, we've been focused on helping people to learn and innovate. And a key to this is the ability to think and to work creatively when and wherever you need to. What is critical thinking? Critical thinking is basically thinking about your thinking. That is being deliberate and disciplined in the process of thinking. Have you ever been in a 15 minute meeting that's lasted for three hours? Or sat down and to, and to think about something important and just gone blank? Critical thinking is a simple set of tools and techniques that can be applied to many different situations, such as problem solving, decision making, all sorts of specialist issues, and for thinking creatively, which is primarily where we concentrate. It's what we call deliberate creative thinking. With deliberate creative thinking, the aim is to shift your perception. That is the way that we see things, to see things in new ways. So as we say, if we can show you how to see something you've never seen before, or see something in a way that you've not seen before, you might just open up to new pathways, to new ideas, new ways of doing things. That's fundamental to creativity and a millionaire mindset. Deliberate creative thinking is a skill that anyone can learn and develop. While it's true that some people are naturally more creative than others, everyone can learn to be creative, on demand. So what is the goal for developing millionaire mind skills? The ultimate goal, of course, is success, however you define it. And we've helped all sorts of individuals and organizations to be more successful, to develop millionaire mind skills that underpin the mindset so important to lasting success. Ranging from students and professionals struggling to achieve their goals, and from small to very large organizations in every field around the world, we facilitate deliberate creative thinking and innovation workshops and training courses to help them achieve their goals and help you achieve your goals. So far we've worked with people and organizations in more than 15 countries and we have simple tools and methods for guiding clients through our managing information overload and deliberate creativity and innovation processes, which we'll happily share with anyone who's interested. Where can I learn more about Millionaire Mind Skills? Firstly, continue to spend just 10 minutes each day with the 21 Day Challenge, as well as read the Business Millionaire book and the other books in the Millionaire series. Secondly, I've set up a website for people to explore a wide range of information on the core mind skills used by millionaires. Skills Bill and I have used to build Mindworks International into a successful organisation. Go to MillionaireMindSkills.com to learn more and also check out Mindworks.com as it has lots of free e-courses, articles and more on how to think, learn and innovate. Thirdly, the key for anyone wanting to be successful is to take action today to start to develop your millionaire mind skills. As our tagline says, we need to think, learn and succeed. I wish you all the very best in your endeavours and congratulate you in undertaking the 21 Day Millionaire Mindset Challenge. Why not challenge your friends to change their mindset as well? If you'd like to discuss how we can support you and your organisation, please contact me anytime. Good luck.